I found this method in the presentation by Maxim Hakkar, but it is so buried down in the huge library of Houdini resources that I always have trouble finding it, so I wanted to make it a standalone video. I also modified it to make it work on this character. So, so the idea of this technique is following. You have a mesh, you paint some attribute to make more, some areas more dense, then you poly reduce it and retain density by this attribute. Uh, don't mind this, I'll explain later. Then you, you, you'll use uh, divide and uh, check compute du dual. It will create this kind of hexagonal or I don't know what uh, polygons. Then you make curves out of them and use polyvar or something and it will create this kind of mycelium effect. So this is the basic uh, basic technique. Now what I added is also this uh, thickness attribute. So, so the geometry is a little bit thinner in these parts and a little bit thicker on the bigger parts. As I can demonstrate here. See I can make it more thick and also remap remap the attribute. And for this um, in here I'm getting the minimum and the maximum value from from the mask attribute. And in here I'm using this simple expression which is basically just this uh, fit fit function. So I'm fitting the hold minimum and maximum to 0 and 1 and I'm using and then I'm using a, a, a ramp to remap the attribute and I'm also multiplying it by 0 0.1 essentially subdividing it by 10 to make it smaller so I don't have to work with numbers like 0 0.012 I'll just use 0 0.12 which is more convenient also what you can do is you don't have to use this this kind of um, uh, tubes if you want maybe some something more flat you can you can use uh, this poly extrude and use transform in local scale it down so you're basically insetting the polygons and this this doesn't work very well in this case because uh, it's probably stopped by some small polygons or uh, I don't know, that doesn't work very well but this does so you can do this and now you can ext extrude your polygons if you want to get this kind of uh, thin, thin mesh also you can do something like this you can also um, use this thickness to to make more thicker ball more thicker extrusion at the head or maybe make make this the body thicker so you can do this effect as well and the main difference is it's just that we're using a separate thickness for it for this because we want different attributes and we're using poly extrude and the distance scale we're using thickness attribute and other than that uh, it's it's pretty much standard I think yeah nothing special so you can you can get this kind of effect out of it as well so you can get quick variations just by just by playing with the poly reduce and uh, playing with the weight of the mask and the number of polygons you want to keep so if if you increase the weight weight let's say to 15 now it will try to retain more more polygons in the in the painted area and um, also another tip is 
if if you want to work more real time you can use one poly reduce before before the second one so you have less polygons to work with and uh, one tip is also if, if I hide it if you change the if you change the topology your your paint gets messed up but you can uh, use this recache strokes and it will recache it based on the new geometry so if you, if, if you change the topology you won't lose your paint and let me show you how it works without the first uh, poly reduce so I'm gonna go to the end result and now I'll, I'm gonna try to paint something click away and I'm gonna paint and as you can see it's it's really really slow and it's lagging it's not interactive but if I go back in here turn the poly reduce on now I have to recache the strokes to get my paint back and now if if I'll paint it will be more much more interactive so now the strokes are more interactive and I'm painting my attribute I can crank up the opacity and if I want to have more or dense polygons on the back I can do so fairly interactively and you can this way by this way you can design your creature okay that's all for now and in the second part we will have a look how you can animate the growth and how you can animate your creature thanks for watching and see you in the next one